Welcome to the Palo Alto Network's company introduction topic. This topic is designed for pre-sales engineers who have no knowledge of Palo Alto Networks. We hope to provide you with basic information about the company and we'll present the Palo Alto Networks direction and some financials. When you've completed the topic, you should be comfortable explaining who Palo Alto Networks is as a company and be able to position the company with customers. These are some of the things that make up the core of Palo Alto Networks. As a company, we all share a common vision for the future. We see a world where each day is safer and more secure than the one before. This means we deliver products that make progress and deliver innovations that increase trust. We also share and focus on our company mission. We want to be our customer's cybersecurity partner of choice by protecting our digital way of life. We all live in the digital age, but despite the great things about digital technology, including the productivity enhancements in both personal and business life, there is risk involved. Addressing the risk is what cybersecurity is all about. It's a broad and ambitious mission, and our company values support it. Disruptive innovation is one of the core values we hold as a company. We've introduced many effective innovations that have been adopted throughout the industry and expect to continue to do that. We'll see these throughout the course. These innovations range from providing new ways for startups to reach customers and providing new ways for customers to access new big data analytics technology and new ways to collect and analyze data with its context to provide increased levels of security. High integrity is another of our core values. We respect our customers, partners, employees, and shareholders and show that respect with transparency and the way we handle trust. We inspire trust and live up to that trust. We work collaboratively and strive to promote our customers' successful execution. And our diverse and inclusive workforce strengthens our business. We've always contributed to our community, and as we grow larger, we contribute more and have a wider community to contribute to. We'll look at the company product and technology strategy a little later in the topic. Our mission is broad. We do not look at it as a laser focus on quarterly earnings. We look at the big picture and how we can help make progress in years and decades to come. As a company, not only have we chosen a very ambitious and aggressive mission statement, but we stand by it every day. It's not just about selling security products to our customers or having the best cybersecurity technology in the industry or maintaining the highest customer satisfaction ratings. It's also about what we can do to improve the future of cybersecurity. Community engagement is one of our core values as a company, particularly in the areas of fostering diversity in cybersecurity education. We have special programs to work with primary and secondary public education, a whole academy working with higher education, and programs with veterans. We do many things to help reach our long-term mission. An example of this is our partnership with the Girl Scouts of the United States of America. Palo Alto Networks has teamed up with the Girl Scouts, and developed 18 new cybersecurity badges and also devised a curriculum that educates young girls about the basics of computer networks, cyber attacks, and online safety. We recognize that women are underrepresented in cybersecurity, and we hope that by doing this, we can help girls to grow interest and learn more about cybersecurity technology. We also recognize that we all must work together to prepare for these technical challenges, by creating the innovative cybersecurity problem solvers of tomorrow through education today. Our desire to advance the industry and overall security of our current and future customers drives our decisions. These are the IDC markets we address. IDC breaks the market into network security, web security, and endpoint security. We're the number one vendor in network security, and if we look at cloud security as a market, we're the top vendor there as well. IDC expects these identified markets to continue growing through 2020 by more than 25%. And the newer AI, machine learning, big data analytics security market, addressed by our Cortex product suite, is growing on top of this. We continue to add new customers at an industry-leading rate, from 5,000 customers in 2011 to 60,000 customers in 2019. And between 2017 and 2019, we increased our customer base by 50%. It's rapid growth on a large base. We are also growing revenues quickly against a large base. 
From fiscal year 2014 to fiscal year 2018, we grew at a compound annual growth rate of 40%. And even against the more than $2 billion fiscal year 2018 revenue, the first three quarters of fiscal 2019 has seen revenue grow by 30%. Products, subscriptions, and support revenue are all growing at a high rate. Our product and technology strategy has three pillars, each of which helps grow and close deals for the others. Our three strategic pillars are secure the enterprise, secure the cloud, and secure the future. When we talk about securing the enterprise, we are primarily referring to security appliances and associated products, including attached subscriptions to the appliances. This means network security, and it's based on the next generation firewall. In addition to its firewall functionality, we see the next generation firewall as a platform for delivering adjacent services, including existing subscriptions like Wildfire and new subscriptions like DNS security. These products provide visibility and control. We provide this through sensors and remediation. We have the industry's best collection sensors for rich data with context from networks and endpoints. And the products also provide remediation enforcement points. These network and endpoint sensors are tightly integrated with their attached services. And our chassis-based appliances provide the industry-leading performance required by carriers to support their 5G Internet of Things services. We have some recently announced products in the enterprise security space. They are PanOS 9.0 for firewalls and for Panorama, new hardware blades or line cards for the chassis-based multi-blade firewalls, and the new DNS security subscription for firewalls. We've seen great uptake on all of these. Our strategy to secure the cloud is addressed by our Prisma suite of products. The context here is that almost every or every organization is on some path toward moving their computing to the cloud. This includes consuming applications as SaaS, deploying applications in public cloud or private cloud infrastructure, and changing how they think about securing users. Instead of connecting users back to their internal networks, they need to secure the connections to the cloud where they reach their applications. A key challenge is how to get visibility on the use of these applications in this context. Users decide which applications to use. Developers decide which platforms and infrastructures to use for development and for deployment. They usually don't think about what controls and safeguards are required for security. But how are these applications, platforms, and infrastructures used? Are they configured and secured correctly? Is there an ability to detect and prevent attacks and respond to them sufficiently quickly to prevent data breaches? Prisma provides comprehensive cloud security, protecting the cloud across software as a service, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service. The products in this suite have a unified look and feel and work together to secure the cloud. Prisma Access provides global connectivity to securely connect mobile users, remote offices, and applications to the cloud. Prisma SaaS provides visibility, control, and security through an API-based cloud access security broker. The VM series protects and secures east-west and north-south network traffic with a virtualized firewall in cloud environments. And Prisma Public Cloud monitors cloud workloads and provides asset visibility, compliance, configuration, and data security. Cortex provides an open and integrated framework for AI-based continuous security applications. The Cortex Hub is how Palo Alto Networks and third-party Cortex applications are accessed. It provides a way for new innovative technologies to be quickly and easily consumed by customers. The Cortex Data Lake collects cross-platform data, normalizes the data, and adds context to it from multiple sources. Demisto provides analytics, automation, and orchestration to deliver security response. Cortex XDR applies AI and machine learning to deliver ever-improving detection outcomes. The newest Cortex products are Cortex XDR and Demisto. Cortex XDR applies machine learning to large amounts of high context data collected through network, cloud, and endpoint. We recently put Cortex XDR into a respected meter product evaluation using their attack framework. Palo Alto Networks had a great result. The evaluation looks at how well products respond to a comprehensive set of different techniques that attackers use. 
10 companies have done this evaluation, and Palo Alto Networks came out with the best overall coverage when compared with these large security providers. Demisto applies automation, orchestration, and some AI techniques to improve the productivity of investigations by security operations center analysts. These two new products also are exceeding their target sales goals and their business is growing very quickly. Thank you for completing the Palo Alto Network's company introduction topic.